in that moment, I know that everything else changed in the way I see politics. I already was working with politics, uh, politics and wanted to do it. But it was, it was just mind-blowing. It completely changed the way I see it, the way I, I still live it. It's just, it changed my mindset. And forever I'll be thankful to Frank. One morning I woke up from this really vivid dream. It was just about a couple of weeks ago. And I recall myself in this dream being in this really discussion with Frank, the discussions we could have. And I felt really good in the beginning because I, I really had the chance to, to end my arguments and to, to keep talking, to, to realize in the dream that it was not that uh, he was listening to me, but he was just not talking back. I don't need his approval to think something. I have to think for myself because he is not there anymore to me. We have to, 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 we are responsible for the quality of our own reasoning. And I think that's a good lesson. Frank uh, changed the way we looked at our lives. And by doing so, changed our lives. And so basically what I'm doing every day is a tribute to Frank, because Frank turned me into the entrepreneur I am. And it's for others to decide if I'm a good one, but at least I'm a happy one. And uh, that's completely thanks, thanks to him. He told me that conformism is the jailer of freedom and the enemy of progress. The children of Frank gave away what he gave. He achieved a lot. Yeah. A good civil society in his backgrounds, um, what he was fighting for. So this was and is my main motivation and I'm really grateful that I had the occasion to be with Frank quite a few times. I call it as, as trust. Um, I think espoir is a better word in, uh, in French. It, the trust in the people that they can make this change and that they can contribute to cr make a better society. Because this is in everything I see and hear about Frank is what he, I think it also must have driven him in his um, perseverance to continue even if it was difficult. And uh, I think if you lose the, the espoir then you also stop with, with what you je demandais à Franck, et le, le, toutes les fois que je parlais avec Franck, il me donnait l'espoir. <rire> toutes les fois, il me dit « Non, Maria, mais tu sais, il m'expliquait avec des mots assez clairs et bien, bien pointus, parce que tu sais, il y a ça et ça. » Et toutes les fois, dans tous ces épisodes, c'est arrivé plusieurs fois. Et, et donc, je me sentais mieux aussi, parce que ça leur donnait l'espoir. Et donc, c'était un an pour ça très important, parce que je pense que c'est un point fondamental de donner l'espoir aux gens. Donc, euh, merci Franck d'être... Euh, it was really inspiring and uh, so prolix. I was not a thinker uh, and uh, my patient was to take pictures and I was the witness of okay, the progress of a great leader. Pour moi, tu resteras toujours le combattant, l'homme courageux qui a fait tout pour exprimer ses pensées les plus franches. Tu m'as montré par ta détermination et tes efforts soutenus que tout le monde a le droit de lever la main avec courage et de dire « moi j'ai une idée ». Tu parlais, on t'écoutait, comme des écoliers sages, devant un prof la tête pleine d'idées. Maintenant les rôles sont inversés, c'est toi qui te tais et c'est nous qui parlons. Et c'est peut-être ton silence qui nous donne des idées, qui sait